the reincarnated artist. It was the 80s, an artist was born. A fight her fate fought that brought her to this world with emotional drought. An accidental child, as the artist says, but was God's serendipitous blessing in his own ways. An artist inside didn't know the world would be cruel to this ardor soul. As she grew up, filled with dreams, recognized should be an actor. A journey started to acknowledge the dream. All of it wasn't as easy as it seems maybe. There are troubles in the calmest of the bodies and there stands a lazy, oblivious of what's coming is crazy. As a structure needs support to shine, we also need a partner to share our wine. Sometimes a high won't take you high, but make you fall so you can't even fly. This tale I'm about to tell is about a woman who fell. She stayed till she broke hell. Emotional stability was the desire. Met a guy and hoped to build a fire. But the artist was loving and affectionate, but her partner already had a mate. As the artist got close, she had to seal her fate and married the man whose wife already awaits. A lot is left of this tale. In all this havoc, a storm was coming. A baby boy cried tears of joy. But the artist was unhappy, not coy. The artist thought of not giving the joy of life to the baby. But then again thought, why should he suffer for a decision he never made? The man left the artist. All of it started again from where it began. But this was not about him. This tale was about the bringing up of a prodigal son in the world. Hence, the artist took a decision to change all of it that's done. Again, she shifted cities to write a new tale. In this one, the artist couldn't fail. Skills became strengths, strengths became source of happiness. One's state of mind changes to negativity after hiccups that are so real that they are unreal to people. A contest for the close community, won by the artist, who wasn't of the community, explains the unity of this uniquely survived survival. Energies drive you and your lives. The artist found hers in access bars. Because the artist was not seeking validation anymore. And this is a contribution. The artist laughed, loved and stopped judging herself. Once the artist was on a moribund, scared of living life, but even death deserves and demands courage, Living isn't easy, but life is what we make out of it. Things we resist sometimes have our highest potential. And if you're wondering, the prodigal son is 11 now and the artist is happy. It's an art to love your own self, which she did after losing it all. She stood up, rose and heaved her reality, again becoming an artist.